Thanks for joining me, I'm so glad you could. Let's work out. You're gonna need a couple sets of weights. Um, I've got fives and threes. I wanna do, this workout's gonna be about shoulder stability and moving, twisting, bending, sideways, and forwards, and backwards, okay? So let's do that. Get your mat, you also need your sturdy support. Here we go, open up to side, dropping those shoulders and just bend. Bend the knees and pressing over. Make sure you're in a good wide stance here so th those knees are in front of the feet this away. Okay, so you're not pushing over those toes. Pressing over, pressing over, just kind of warm up through those thighs. <sighs> Pulling that core in, we're dropping those shoulders. Reach and a reach and a reach and a reach and a four and a three. Hold it to the middle, bend, Right. and over, don't lose your balance, and over, bend in the middle, bend in that spine, over, feeling your obliques so you're not leaning, nothing moves in the knees, nothing moves in the hips, just your torso, pull over, pull over, and over, good job, keep going for four, and three, instead of swinging the arms, put behind their head, over, and bend, oh my gosh, bend, and bend, pulling that core in, it's a little more abdominal, over, and over, because you're warming up that spine, so you can go a little bit lower, crunch that way, cinch it, over, and over, and a two, and a one, lift all the way up, inhale, exhale, roll all the way down to the floor, walking your hands and to feet and toes together, feet, 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 and come out to a plank, walking forward, Holding it here, nice strong plank. Soften those elbows, lengthen that neck. Crown of the head is really reaching towards me. Pulling those abdominals in nice and tight and pull those kneecaps up to your body. Up to the front of the thighs, tap your knees to the floor. Both down, lift them up. Tap them down, lift them up. Try not to move your back at all. Lift, tap, lift, Our belly is in. No movement in those hips at all. No movement in the spine. Tap, lift, tap, lift, two, lift, one and a lift, pike it up, push back into a down dog, stretching here, and then come all the way down to the floor, onto your hands and knees, and then onto your seat. Reaching the legs out forward, I'm gonna twist you as you roll down. So you're sitting them nice and tall, rotate over to one direction, doesn't matter which one, roll down on that side. So stretching through that spine, lift the arms up to the middle, roll up on the other side of your spine, lift them nice and tall. Go down on the second side, rolling down. Keeping your shoulders down, lift, and then rolling up on the opposite side as you roll up, lift, center. Down on the first side, rolling down. Stretching through that spine. Trying to feel that pressure just in the one side of your back, one side of your, of your, um, of your shoulder blades and everything, rolling down. Second time, ooh, and a lift. And then exhale and rolling up. Now roll through the middle. Straight here, rolling back, all the way back. Reach your arms up overhead. Pull your knees into your chest one at a time. Keep your arms hovering, one at a time. Stretch your legs up to the ceiling. Lower them just a little bit towards the floor. Lift the arms up, lift the head up, and come to a V-sit. If you have to bend your knees, you can. Lifting up here, hold it here. Reach your arms up, tuck your tail, and roll down. Pull the knees in if you have to. Inhale, arms. Exhale, rolling up. Abs nice and tight, lifting up. So this is the bending forward, and then rolling down. Woo! And then down, last one. Just a warm up lift. And then rolling up strong through the quadriceps, reaching your arms forward, lift your chest up. And then exhale and roll down, dropping those arms, bend the knees into your chest, rock yourself up to sitting and come up to standing. Come over to your support and then hold it here. Come a little bit closer and then walk yourself backwards. So your feet are right underneath your hips and your hands are just lightly touching that support. Push your chest down and I want you to drop one arm down across um, your midline and to the opposite side. So you're really rotating here. Lift back up. Other side, twist or oh, stretch. Lift back up. Try not to move through your hips at all. Make this, again, just about your torso. Come back up. And then over, pulling that core in, twisting. And then back up one more time each way. Rotate down, stretch into those hamstrings. It feels like a good stretch. Come back up. Last time, over, reach. And then back up. Hold it here, bend your spine. And then straighten it and then bend it, and then arch it. Lift the chest up, lift the tailbone, lift, bend. 
And then arch, if you have to, you can even bend the knees here and lift and then bend, one more. And then arch, lift, and now come down, bend. Let go of your support and roll all the way up, nice. Okay, let's pick up one of your lighter sets of weights. So whichever you have, you can have fours, but I have threes. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold just one weight and it's gonna be pretty much out to 45 degrees. Soften your knees and what I want you to do, I love this kind of idea that we don't necessarily have to move our arm to, move, to work the joint. You can move your torso, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. The weight is not gonna move, your arm is not gonna move and you're gonna twist away from that arm, come back center. Don't move that weight at all, twist away, come back center. Twist away, so I'm doing my good side first. This is my good side, twist away. Interestingly enough, because this is my injured shoulder. Twist away, into a center. Twist away, and then come center. So you're feeling that movement on that shoulder, but you're moving your torso, not your arm. And twist away, pulling your core in, keep your knee soft, twist. And then come center, you need to really work in that shoulder, twist. And those delts, even the biceps and even the forearm twist, last one, and then come center, try the other side. Shake that out. So the shoulder should just feel hot, right? It should just feel tired. Reaching the arm out. Okay, now the side's a little bit harder for me. Twist away, come back center. Oh, twist away, and it feels completely differently for me. Twist center, twist away. The idea is not to move that arm. Don't move the weight. Twist away, and come back center. And twist away and then center, this is so interesting. Twist away, so just notice how it feels in your body. And twist away, and then come center. If you have any issues with your shoulders at all, you can do this with one pound weights. Doesn't have to be threes, and come center. Twist away, pull that core in and center. We're just rotating through the torso, and then come back straight. Through the torso, I love it. Two more, twist away, and then come center. One more, twist away and then come center and then let it go. Switch hands, so it's back to the first side and you're gonna go a little bit wider with the feet. Turn out just a little bit, push your arms straight up. You could probably pretty much do these with fives as w if you want to too, to make it a little more interesting. Okay, same thing, but we're now we're gonna bend. So the arm is up, the arm doesn't move and you're gonna bend down, come back up and drop the shoulder. Bend down, come back up, drop. Bend down, it kind of elevates a little bit and then it goes back. So you're feeling the lat right here in that shoulder, in the shoulder blade, the bottom of the shoulder blade, lift. And bend, and then lift, and bend, and a lift, and your obliques. You're getting a nice feeling of the connection of your obliques and your lats right here. So bend down, let's just do two more. And then one more, because I'm getting tired. And lift, okay, switching sides. Okay, so that was hot, right? <laughs> Lifting up, dropping those shoulders, here we go. Bend down, lift up, oh. Bend down, and lift up. And again, feels just completely differently in the shoulder joint. And bend, lift back up. I can feel my abs a lot more. Lift up, pulling that armpit down, sliding it to the hip. Reach down to the opposite opposite foot. Bend down, reach, and come up. And bend down, and lift up. Oh, I'm tired. And lift up, keep going. Bend, and lift up. Stable through the shoulders. This is shoulder stability. And bend, lift up. We're working it, but very, very subtly. Lift, three, and up, and a two and drop it, and a one, and then drop it. Pick up your heavier weights. Whew. Both arms up to the ceiling. Again, nice wide stance. Bend your elbows right by those shoulders. Push straight up to the ceiling. Push up, lower down. Relax your grip on those weights. Lower down. The elbows don't come in front of you like sometimes I have you do. Make them come out to the sides a little bit more. Push up. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Push up. Pull the shoulders down the back. Lift and lower. So you should feel warm in that mid back, right? So it's easier to try to feel those muscles, engage those lats, so you're fighting the down the whole time. Push up, fight the down. Don't let those weights just fall down onto the floor. We're feeling our muscles. We're not really just muscling through it, right? Push up, lower down, couple more, press up. 
Lower down, two more, press up. That's my couple. And down, one more, push up, and then come down. Nice, flip your palms forward, bicep curls, just kind of opening, rounding up the shoulders, rounding out the upper body for the arms. Lift and a lower. Exhale up, inhale down, lift up and a lower. Don't move those upper arms. Lift up and a lower. And again, watching the grips on the weights. Pull that core in, make sure your knees are soft. And a four, lower, and a three, good job. And a two, and come to the bar. Take just one of your heavy weights, I'm gonna put another one down, and bring it towards the bar, to the bar with you. And you're gonna come down, you're gonna do the hinge back again like we were doing in the beginning. Just go ahead and put the weight down on the floor. Square your shoulders, so you can put both hands up. They're kind of wide, they're not directly on, on top of your shoulders like this, they are a little bit more wide like that. So you're gonna hold that there. Straighten your knees if you can, otherwise you can keep them soft, that's okay. Pick an arm, whichever arm, and grab that weight. So you're square here, and I want you to row. Pull up, press down, and your back is flat. Lift, lower down. Keep that back really flat, lower. Lift, and the bar is gonna help you keep that alignment of your spine so you're not rounding, you're not arching. You're not up too high, you're low. You're stretching your hamstrings, pulling in those abs, pulling that weight up to this hip. Lift up, lower down, add a tricep press here. Push back, bend in, lower down. Lift, hold, push back, bend in. We're working the shoulder again, lift, shoulder blade. Bend, lower, and a lift, press back, bend down, and a lower, two more, lift, push, and a bend, lean to your toes, last one, press back, bend and lower down, and then release it. Ooh, shake that shoulder out, goes back up here. Bringing that hand down with your other arm, here we go, just row, nice and easy, square your shoulders, lift up to the hip, don't lift to the chest, go to the hip. So you keep that upper arm long here, pull in that core, feeling your obliques a little bit. If you start to feel this in your side back, that's okay, because you are working that area of your back. Pull and lower, lift, soften your knees when you have to. If this starts to be too much on the hamstrings, go ahead and soften those knees. Lift, lower, and a lift, pull those abs in. Up to the hip, lift, don't, don't touch that thigh. Make sure it goes out. For two more, add a tricep right here. Lift it up, press it back, bend it in, lower it down. Squeeze in the back of the shoulder and the whole time until you lower. Lift, squeeze it, press it back, bend it and lower it down. Lift, three, bend and out, and a two, press. And a bend, and a down, and one more. Push back, bend and lower down. Lower that way down, grab your hands right here. Walk your feet a little bit closer in, and you're gonna round your spine. Just lift up and round. Push back and straighten. Lift up and round, just stretching out that back, straighten. One more lift, and then straighten, and then let it go. Come all the way up, circle your arms. Just circle those arms, and just stretching out those shoulders. Change the direction, go the other way. And then down, and then come on down. Good job. Take the bar, put it aside, and then pick up one of your fives. Again, we're gonna come down to our hands and knees. All right, so I'm gonna do this a little bit differently than we've done in the past as well. I've done it in other classes. I always like to change things just a little bit, right? Always to keep you guessing. <laughs> so you're gonna take your five pound weight, put it behind one knee. Hug that weight in super tight. So the trick is, is not to let the weight fall, right? So you're really gonna squeeze that hamstring, come down to your elbows, walk your knees in a little bit tighter, pull up those abs, then I want you to flex that foot that has the weight and lift it up. Now, here, here's where it's gonna change. Here, I want you to arch your back a little bit. So I'm looking for it, I'm not gonna bring my head down. I'm looking for it, I'm really working my spinal muscles here. Lift it now, that'll allow me to get my leg up a little bit higher too. So lifting that leg up, pulse it up, flexing that foot. Squeeze that weight, because the higher the leg, the more it feels like it's gonna roll through your seat. Lift, lift, lift up higher. Keep that, that gaze above your fingertips. So almost right to the edge of your mat. If you can, it doesn't strain your neck, you can look forward. Lift. 
and lift. Not for too long, though. That gets a little tiring. Lift, lift. Abs in nice and tight. And it's super high, and it's about the up. It's not about the down. It's about the up and up and up and up. Keep going, lift. Arching that back, lifting the head up. Don't drop it down. Lift. Keep going, a little bit higher now, higher up and up. You can do it, squeeze in that way, don't let it drop. Lift it up, lift. This should be really intense right now. Lift, lift, pull in the belly, lift. Try not to sink over to the bent knee hip too much so you're not sinking over to the side. You're going over to that leg that's up in the air. Push over, lift, pull the belly in and lift. Arch the chest, look the head up and lift. Here we go for eight, one and a two. And a three, don't stop, four, and a five, and a six, and a seven, and an eight, and come down. Ooh. Okay, so that's a nice little bird, right? <laughs> Sit back, push into that hip. Yeah, that's a nice little bird. Whew. And they come back up. Okay, switch inside. Hug that heel in. Walk your knees in a little bit tighter. So in the beginning, we were puffing up between the shoulders, shoulder blades. Still want you to think about that as you flex that ankle, lift that leg up, and now arch your upper back just a little bit, lifting the head up. See if you can get that thigh up a little bit higher, not flexing that foot, lift it up. Lift, oh my gosh, lift. Make sure your opposite foot, the one that's down on the floor, isn't curled. Don't curl those toes, don't curl that foot under. Make sure it's flat and you're balancing yourself with your entire shin of that bottom leg. Lift it up, keep flexing that foot, and a lift. Chest is up. Lift, oh goodness. Pushing through the armpit muscles, which is the reason why I did this. I forgot to tell you on the first side why I'm doing this. Because we're focusing on the armpits down here, and that's why I want you to push up from the elbows, not so much from the hands, and don't drop the head. Keep the head lifting, keep that thigh lifting. So you're thinking about everything. You're thinking about your shoulders. You're thinking about your head. You're thinking about your upper back. And you gotta work the hamstring and the glutes. Lift it up, squeeze that weight, put flex in that ankle, lift. So you're working through your shin too to keep that ankle flexed. Lift it up and up and higher and higher. Remember some of the up, not the down. Uphold, 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 uphold. It's very small down, uphold. It's mostly up, lift up, oh my gosh. Lift and lift, abs in nice and tight. Arching through that upper back, looking forward, working that neck. You're working your entire spine here, pulling that belly in. You brace your spine with those abs, lift up. Try not to push into this outside hip too much. Keep it leaning over to your leg that's working. Lift it up, belly pulls in, lift, chest is up. You're really not trying to round through those shoulder blades, you're trying to flatten that upper back a little bit. Lift, working those back muscles, lift up, lift up, lift up. Keep going for eight, higher seven, higher six, higher five, higher four, higher three, higher two. Last set, make sure you're parallel. Two, three, four, higher five, six, seven, come down. Woo! Ow! <laughs> Oh, okay, sit back. Oh, that was good. We're gonna come up to standing. Whew, stretching out your hips and your hamstrings. Tuck your toes under. Walk your hands back. Slowly, let's come to standing. Stretching through those hamstrings, back of the calves, backs of the knees are getting good stretch here. Even if you're not touching the floor, shake those legs out just a little bit, and now bend them and then roll up through the tailbone, coming all the way up to standing. Whew, nice work. Okay, I'd like you to pick up one of your lighter set of weights, come back to your support. We're gonna do a little twisting now with the weight. You could probably use a heavier one if you wanna try the heavier one and then lighten it up if it becomes too much, or you could do the opposite. Try the lighter one and then heavy it up if it's too easy. Okay, so we're gonna twist. So we're coming back to that flat back area, that flat back position. You are gonna widen your stance again. Hand, fingertips are just down. Flatten that spine as much as you can, even if you have to bend your knees, and it really wants you to work your back. Reaching that arm down with the weight in the hand, you're gonna reach it across like we were doing in the beginning. Swing the arm up, twist. Reach it across. <sighs> Lift, rotate. Reach it across and up. Oh, so now you're moving on the shoulder that with your arm on the um, support. That is moving in that um, position that we were doing in the beginning where the arms stay stationary and you move your torso. Lift, pulling the belly in, twist, 
up and twist and down twist lift and a twist two more down over lift and up one more twist and lift and come on up switch in size Grab it on with that other hand, and then the other hand has the weight. Cross it over, reach for that opposite foot, and here we go. Pull in the core and lift, down and rotate. Lift and rotate up, rotate down. Lift, and my feet are square, and down. Twist, lift, move on that shoulder of the arm that's on your support. Lift, up, try not to move the back up and down. It stays in one plane as much as it can. You're just rotating that, rotating that torso. And across, and up, and across, and up, and across. Lift, across, and down, across. Good, keep going. Pulling that core in. Bend through your knees if you have to. Lift, lower, and down, and a lift. Up, down, cross, up, up down, cross, lift, lift, abs are in tight. You're working your pretzel muscles. You're working your back muscles on either side of your spine. Lift, good back strengther, good posture saver. And across and up, twist, 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 twist. Keep going, using your muscles, no momentum, no brute strength, right? You're using control and no energy or no momentum. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> and cross, you're using a lot of energy. Lift, lower, and down, and a lift, and up, and a lower, and across, and a lift. Last three, up, cross, and over. Last two, lift, woo, and over. Last one, keep it going. Lift, and down, and a down. Nice work, okay, good job. Come on up to standing, let's have a seat. Woo. Your shoulders should feel loose, right? Because of all the arm work that we've done by moving our torso, come down to the floor. Not necessarily moving our arms all the time. Reaching the legs forward, let's stretch out the back. Bend forward, pull those abs in, stretch through your spine, bring your head and your chest down to your knees. Reaching forward, standing up nice and tall, and you're just gonna roll down, drop on those shoulders, feeling your lats here, but your spine is rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Ooh, and then down, reach your arms up. Inhale to the ceiling. Exhale, pull in, fold in, rolling yourself up. Bend forward again, stretching through that spine, hamstrings and calves. And breathing. Come on up. Come all the way down, you're gonna bring your legs with you. All the way down, when it feels comfortable, start to bend your knees, pull in, watching your back. Make sure your back is still rolling down one very, very time, pull your knees in. Take your hands, place them behind your head. Roll your head and chest up, push into that spine here, lift it up. Keep your knees bent and your feet can be a little bit tighter into your seat. Lift, lift, abs in tight, and up, and up. Keep going, lift it up, <sighs> lift. Woo, and a lift, and lift, and a four, and a three, and a two, straighten the legs up, lift it up. Two, three, four, relax your neck, five, six, seven, one more set of eight, one, two, and three, and a five, and a six, and a seven. Hold it here, bend your knees in and grab your knees. Take one leg and go nice and long. So holding that leg, it is just lifted up off that floor a little bit. Hug this other knee into your chest. Lift your chest up a little bit higher. Now it's gonna be about this leg. I want you to pulse the leg down, down. So it's almost like a heel tap on the floor. Down, down. And you're lengthening through your hip and your spine here, or your hip and your obliques. Pressing down, pressing down. Now it's a little bit easy because we're holding onto our thigh. So our abs aren't having to work too much. Press down, press down. Press down, tight quadricep, so strong knee. So we're working our quads a little bit. Pulsing it down. Okay, it's gonna be a little harder. Three, letting go. Press it down and down, abs in tight. Press down, down, tap that heel down. Heel, heel, and abs down, and down, and a four, and a three, and a two. Pull the knees in, switch. Pull that other leg in super tight. Oh, that feels good because that quadricep was tired. Here we go, pulse it, let the leg down. Tap, 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 tap. So trying to get that whole leg down. Super straight leg, chest is lifted, relaxing your neck. Using that thigh right here and your upper body to hold yourself up. Pull the belly in, and down, 
and down and down. It's about the down, straight knee, lift, lift, a little bit higher, down and down. Shoulder blades are way up off that floor. No, yeah, your head is not back. Your head is lifted, straight forward, look into that opposite foot. Here we go for eight and seven and a six and a five and a four. And if you're getting a good stretch, two, let go, press it down, abs in tight, three and four, higher five and six, press it, tap and tap and eight and seven and six and five, good, four, three, Two, hold here, stay, pull both knees in, don't come down. Straighten those legs up, hold it. Lower, lower, lower. Where you can hold it, I want you to stay, stay. Hold and breathe, hold for four and three and two. Pull the knees in and then roll yourself down. Woo, nice work, that was really good. Drop one foot down, then the other foot down. Let's do a little bit more abdominal, because I love abs. Okay, come into a uh, lengthened back position so your, your, your spine is pressing into the floor. Make sure your tailbone is not lifting up though, so keep your low back long. Roll your head and chest up. Reaching those arms by those hips. Oh my gosh, head and chest and shoulders all the way up. Get it up there, here we go, pulse. Lift, reaching forward to the heels of your feet. Lift, lift and lift. Pull that belly button in and up underneath your rib cage. So pull that belly up to your throat. And a lift. Keep going. Four, eight, and seven. A little harder on the neck. Stop. Five, four, three, and then two, and one. Hold it here. Straighten those legs out. Ooh, pull those abs in. Reach your arms up and come on up. Roll, roll. Use your strength. Bend your knees if you have to. If you can't, roll through your spine. And then racing forward. Nice work. Oh my goodness, that was really good. Ooh, and then breathing here. And then come on down. Nice. Okay, pick up one of your threes or fours to one of your lighter weights. Or right, twos, you can have twos, that's fine. Twos are fine. Come into your side, I wanna do a little more side bending. Leg is out a little bit more, hand is right here, and shoulder stability. So, so I don't really wanna to have to have you focus on the shoulder down here too much, you should do it automatically, okay? It should be just a no brainer that this shoulder's not like this. So we're not watching TV. You're working out, so everything is working out. Everything has its place. Everything has its 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 action and its um its control and its uh, um, attention. So keeping that arm down. Here we go. We're gonna side bend up. Push it up. Come down, nice and slow at first. Push, pull down. Side bend. Let the weight bring you over here. Whew. Push it up. Adjust yourself if you need to. Slide your knee back. Ooh and down, push up, and a lower, let's go a little faster, up, and a lift, and a lift, you can do it, keep going, pushing up, reaching over, core in, hip is forward, press up, press up, keep going for four, one, and a two, good job, three, and a four, and come down, nice. Did you feel your abs or your shoulder more? That's just a question, it's rhetorical, obviously you can't answer me. <laughs> so think about it, right? If you felt your shoulder or your abs more. <sighs> I kind of felt both of mine equally, I guess I would say. Both of them kind of equal in different ways. This was a burn, this was work. Okay, bend that elbow in. Your fingertips, I forgot to say on the first side, should be facing away from you. Don't have your fingertips facing forward like this. Make sure they're facing in the direction of your head. Bend that elbow, pull that core in nice and slow at first. Here we go. Side bend over, push through that armpit muscle, pull it down. Push up, pull down. Pull down. Core is in, it bends, it creases. It bends, it creases at the top hip, top oblique. Lift, squeeze those lats, pulling down. Push up, pull down. You're working your bottom hip too, right? Pull down, press up, pull down. The whole bottom part of your body is working from the hips, side of the glutes to the shoulder, softening that elbow. Oh, I'm starting to straighten it. Push up, come down, adjust yourself as you need to to make it feel comfortable, like you can keep doing this forever, right? Push up. And then over, oh my gosh, I'm sliding, lift, and squeeze, and a lift, and now let's go faster. Push, press, really work it, you can do it, squeeze, lift, don't lose the form. Push, core is in, lift, lower, lift, lower, work that bottom hip if you can, more. Four, three, two, 
One, four more here. One, pull in, and a two, pull in, and a three. Good job, and a four, and pull in. Nice work. Ah, take your arms, reach them out behind you. Stretch open from your shoulders and your chest. Opening that front of the body here. Lifting those arms up behind you just a little bit. Drop your chin forward. And then breathe. Grab your arms in front of you. Round yourself forward here, bending through that spine. And then let's come up to standing. Woohoo! Good work. Whew. All right. Come back to your support. I'm going to flip and face you this time. You're going to face your support. Seeing right here, parallel everything. Lift up both heels, high heels, hold it here. Make sure you are snug right and tight with those heels and those toes. Inner thighs, everything is nice and tight. Try to touch those knees together. Bend them tight here and hold it here. Open those shoulders, open the chest, pull in those abdominals, hold it. Keep those heels really high. Open the shoulders. Oh, my shoulders feel wonderful. <sighs> Breathing, nice and high heel. Hold, nice light touch on the support. Here we go, pulse it down. I bet you thought I forgot about the quads, didn't you? Pulse it down, never forget about the quadriceps. Worked them a little bit in the abs, but this is a little bit more intense. Pressing it down, pressing it down. Light touch on your support. Knees are going straight forward. Hug everything together so those ankles are touching. Those sides of the feet are touching if they can. The inner thighs are touching. The knees are touching. Try to touch your calves together. Squeeze everything really tight like they're super glued together and they're smushing together. Pulsing it down. Squeeze. So you're getting the inner thigh connection. Pulling that belly in. Up underneath the rib cage. I want you to think of lifting the belly button up, not back. And changing it, changing how you think about your abs just a little bit. Lift them up instead of back. So I always talk about pressing your belly button to your spine. Now lift them up. Lift them up underneath the rib cage. Press, press, think inner thighs, think quads, and down, and down. Keep going. Ooh, I'm shaking, press down. But we could do this all day long, right? Relaxing through the chest and the shoulders. Keep them open. Now feel, just notice how open your shoulders can be right now because of all the work that we did in the beginning and in the middle of our workout. Shoulders are open and relaxed, pressing the knees forward. So you can concentrate on those quadriceps, pressing down, pressing down for four and a three. Hold the bend as deeply as you can. Squeeze those inner thighs. Oh, I almost let it go. Lower the heels, lower, lift them up, lower, lift them up. Try not to move your body. Lower, lift, lower, oh, lower and up and a down, and up, keep going, and a lift, and a lower, and a lift, ooh, work through those feet, oh, burn those quads, keep going, lift it up, four, eight, up, seven, lift, and six, and up, and a five, inner thighs, four, lift, squeeze them together, squeeze them together, two, lift, one more, up and hold, pulse it down, can you squeeze tighter with those inner thighs, quads are burning, Quads are shaking, yes, heels are high. Pulse eight, and seven, and six, and five, and a four, and a three, excellent work. Come on up, oh, and then shake it out real quick. Come back to a first position, let's do some little calf raises. First position, so they're turned out a little bit, bend both knees, lift up both heels, straighten, lift, lower, lift. Oh, nice quad work, good, this feels good. And bend, and a straighten, and a bend, and a straighten, and a bend, and a two, and a one and a bend. Lift up and hold it here. Lower the heels. Lift them up and a lower. Lift. Really pop those heels up. Lift and lower and lift. If you don't need your support for any of this, you can just do it all holding yourself up with your own body weight and your own awareness of where you are in space. Lift up, lower, lift, and a lift. It presents its own challenge, right? To keep your balance. Lift up eight. And seven, squeeze together, and six, squeeze together, five, squeeze together, four, feel like you're pulling your heels, three, pull them, two, good job, one, and then come down, nice, shake it out, put a foot back and stretch out those calves, nice work for that lower body, <laughs> and then put the other heel back, stretching, relaxing the shoulders and the chest, Whew, taking a deep breath here, and then grab your heel to your seat, stretching out your quadriceps, 
pull the heel in really tightly here, bend through your standing knee, and think of tucking your tailbone forward, and then pulling that thigh backwards. So it's opposition, tailbone goes forward, thigh goes back. Pressing back, Ooh, switching legs. Pull that other heel in, and pull forward. Tuck the tail, pull the foot back, stretching through that quadricep, getting a really good stretch as you pull that heel into that seat really, really tightly. This is okay for your knee. Ooh, stretching through those quads, nice. And then let it go, shake it out, move your support. Pick up your lighter set of weights, both of them. And then come forward, reaching the arms out to the side, palms are up to the ceiling. Open those shoulders and the chest, lift the arms up, lift. Soften your knees, lift, lift. So this is what I mean by side, right here. It's not back here. That's too strenuous on your shoulder joint. Never, ever, ever do that. Keep them right here. Lift up, lift up, lift. So this is delts, this is biceps, and up, up. Can you feel your armpit muscles a little bit more? Then normal, <laughs> lift, lift, keep going. Four, four, and a three, and a two. Hold your small circles for eight. One, two, three, four, five. Good, six, seven. Change direction for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice work, eight. Bring them down. Swing your arms behind you, your palms are up to the ceiling. Lean yourself forward, bend through your knees, lift those arms up as high as you can. This is heavy, lift up, lift. Three, four, five, neck is long. Don't drop the head. Eight, one, two, three, four, wrists are straight. Six, seven, one more set of eight, one, two, back is long. Four, five, six, Seven, come down. Nice work, good job. Pick up your heavier set. And then come forward. A little more tricep work. Pull your elbows back behind you. Pull that rib cage in. Don't judge your ribs forward like this. Pull those ribs in as those elbows go back. Straighten back, bend in. Push, bend in. Palms are facing in towards one another. Press it back, pull it in. Press it back, pull it in. Two. And turn your palms to face me. Press up back, bend it in. Push back, bend in. Triceps, biceps, triceps, mostly triceps. Press, small bicep. Press. Two, turn your palms to face back. Ooh, and press, and a bend, and a push, and a bend. Press, and a bend. Press, shoulders, push four. Ooh, and a three, good job. Two, and flip your palms forward, biceps lift up, lower down, no stopping. Lower and a lift. Working the entire arm, the entire shoulder joint. Lift, stabilize through the pecs and that upper back. And four, lower and a three, lower and a two, lower, hold it halfway here, rotate. Out and center and out and center. Twist, twist, keep your elbows right into your body. Just rotate that arm, come center. Rotate, come center, rotate and center. Rotate, one more, hold it out here. Push those hands back. Rotate that arm as the elbow's coming forward, pulse it here. Lift, lift, working a little bit different of the bicep muscle here. And up and a lift, lift. Stable through the shoulders, keep your collarbones wide here. Lift, four, four, three, and a two, and a one, and come down. Nice work, shake it out, put the weights away. Lifting up, take an inhale, breathe. Reaching all the way up to the ceiling, and then exhale, lower down. Grab your arms behind you, open up your shoulders and your chest. Rolling those shoulders back, lifting those hands up really high, stretching through your neck as you drop your chin forward. Lengthen the crown of your head towards me, not down to the, um, not your chin to the chest, but you're really lengthening your neck here. You're not jamming it down and just letting it hang. Lengthen it away from those shoulders. Let go of the hands, and grab your arms in forward, in front, and then just bend through the upper back. And try to stretch through the mid back sides right here. So really bend forward as much as you can. Think about pushing your tailbone forward here, and that's gonna help you stretch into that mid back as well. Reaching here, keep both hands clasped, and then reach up, and we're gonna side bend. Stretch over to one side, over, and then bring it up.
and then the other side and just nice and easy over and then bring it up hold it here arch backwards lift up and arch back stretching through that upper back and then come center do that one more time arch backwards drop those shoulders back behind you relax your neck don't lift your shoulder blades up off that back reaching back and then come center and then relax bringing your arms up inhaling and then coming down to the floor exhaling all the way down Woo. stretching forward take one foot and place it behind you a nice little kind of a small scissor stretch it doesn't have to be too big because we're just stretching holding it here oh, push into the back of that knee and now flex that front foot oh yeah yeah that feels good stretching out that calf and that back of that hamstring a little bit more bringing your chest down bring that back foot forward as you switch scissor the other leg and going back about the same place as that first one was and then stretching into that front leg squaring your hips don't let the hips rotate out keep them square and now flexing that front foot to that front ankle pushing your back heel down keeping that front leg as straight as you can but as long as you're feeling a stretch of the hamstring the calf the back of the knee that's all we want is just that stretch so if you can't get that knee straight that's okay breathing here pushing that hip down or that belly down into that thigh lower the feet as you come forward relax your neck look to your knees let the head just relax and hang here i want you to rock forward off your heels and then rock back off your toes lift them up rock forward off your heels rock back off your toes stretch forward off your heels and then back off your toes one more forward off your heels looking down and then back and now bend both knees tuck your tail drop your shoulders down your back and roll all the way up one vertebra at a time nice and slow lifting up stretching through that neck so don't let the head up the head is not the first to come up it's the last to come up take a breath in reach to the ceiling and then exhale push it down good and one more inhale Ooh, and then exhale and push it down and let it go. Yay, thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.